hi guys thanks for coming to my channel if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber then what's good how you doing what's how's good? everyone but, but, but. come on today <laughs> i am not alone i am with the amazing the fantastic tiktok king youtube extraordinaire yes. instagram legend kane what's thompson up? Hello, guys. Um, the applause. Um, yeah, my name is Kane Thompson, um, just like Zina, I'm like a, a video um, content creator on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, I just mean like Christian content basically. But today we are actually going to be talking about what they don't tell you about being a content creator. Yes, of course we live in a generation now where like social media is a massive thing. Mm. And like, I feel like everybody wants to be that content creator but people don't know how. People are still wondering like how do you actually uh, make content, like how do you set your phone up like we did, how do you do this, how do you do that. And kind of like the, the, the realities of like yeah, mm. making content. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna share with you guys today. If you guys wanna hear more about what we wish we knew, then just let's get into it. Yeah. You see the polished side of YouTube, like you see the people posting on Instagram every single week and you see them like posting videos every single week. But when you actually start doing it, you don't realize how difficult it is to actually stay consistent. Sure, yeah. Consistency is hard. And you kind of have to take some time out to really be strategic and plan out when you're gonna post, when are you gonna take the time in your week to come up with video ideas? Like people don't think, but you actually need to sit down yeah, and yeah. be like, what am I gonna post? Like you can't just turn on the camera. Like yeah. you have to plan. Being a content creator, you're actually your own boss. Mm. Like when you're working in like the supermarket, you're working like for like company. Like you're working for somebody, but being a yeah. content creator, literally you're your own boss. So literally, like when you're um, so basically you wake up on time, you have to set your alarm on time. Like if you like, you're the one that um, was really providing the con posting content. So like if you're ill one day or you're sick then like that content not be posted if you said okay i'm gonna start posting videos once every two weeks then you because you've now said that if you have an audience that are waiting for the video you have to supply for that need it's just about communicating with your audience i feel like some people feel like they're under pressure to be perfect but like we're all human beings we yeah. all make mistakes and if that's how your channel is if that's the setup then let your audience know listen this week you won't see a video yeah, exactly. but you gotta be transparent exactly but me especially like I feel like I wait for the Holy Spirit to give me a lot of ideas mm -hmm. and sometimes the Holy Spirit will not come at 5 p.m. when I ask the Holy Spirit listen I need I need you to come and tell yeah, me yeah, now yeah. like sometimes so you got to put things in place where you plan ahead so that you've got time to brainstorm so that your content doesn't look consistent from the outside but it may not be from your point of view because I know people get like in a rut people do get very like dry and people do like um like getting this day where they're posting loads and then they get in the season where oh, I've got no more ideas or like I'm this and that but I think mm. You have to remember that like, it's amazing like to have all these ideas and like, post 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 but you have to give yourself time to really take it in as well let god download in you so i think a lot of times we like um we like to just spread content and post content like upload content we have to allow god to like download into us like information and download so that we can download information and wisdom so that we can spread we can't pour into others if we're not first poured being poured into that's good so to make sure that we are we have that we have that stuff that's in us that we can pour out yeah so i'm reading off my phone so the other point I had, um, starting off is hard. You have to share. If you're somebody that has just created a YouTube channel, share with your friends. I was actually sharing my content with a bunch of people and she was actually the one I shared it to. And then that's when we got in contact, but FaceTime her, we spoke and you know, we're here today. So yeah. definitely don't be afraid to share content with your friends, people that you don't know as well. Get, you have to get yourself out there. Because people are not just gonna, you know, if I start a YouTube channel with zero subscribers, I make like five videos. Um, they might get views. Obviously it's me random people. They might get views like a hundred, um, even like 50, even 10 views, um, but your, your subscribers don't meet up um, and you share, you have to share. Sometimes you gotta take yourself out of the creator mindset and become the audience. Like if you're an outsider, if somebody like clicks on your channel for the first time, is your banner, um, you know, high quality, is it good up to, is it up to date, or is it just like weird graphics that is not, um, you know, relatable to your channel? Like, is all your thumbnails uh, in good quality? Can people click on it easily? Would that, would it be eye catchy? Would people understand what your video is about? So I think, yeah, make sure that everything is professional, everything looks good. Um, and obviously from there, then obviously people click on your channel and watch it. Yeah. Another thing I had is that um, it doesn't matter what kind of um, equipment you have, but um, even before that, I created the channel I have now, I had two other channels and I remember the first video, I legit, it was so cringy, I just spun around on the chair, I was like, yo, some weird graphics and stuff like that, but like starting off, you're gonna start off little and that's fine. And I mean, even the Bible says that, um, you know, that when you are faithful to the little things, God will bless you with much. Yeah. So I think when you have, you know, your, you know for example, we'll call this on our phone, um, we could easily like, you know, buy a big camera. Obviously, I've got my own camera, we can easily buy like a more expensive camera to record the videos, but we are using what God has given us. So I think when we actually, yeah, when we use the stuff that we have, 
um, later on that we would actually be a lot more grateful. I literally edit um, YouTube, on my YouTube channels, on my social media content, on my phone. Um, I edit everything on my phone right now, and I'm like, it's hard. But I think when you're, um, I know that like when I get when I get the laptop, when I get my Mac, in the name of Jesus, Come um, on, declare, declare. that's when um, obviously my video content will be in high quality and I can produce a lot more. I'll be more thankful for that as well. But mm. another point that I feel like God is speaking is to like enjoy the process. That like, don't try and be ahead of where you are. Um, I was watching a sermon from Transformation Church and Todd was saying like serve the season that you're in. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. don't try to wish that you were somewhere else that you're not now. Mm. Like great, we all want to hit 1K. You know, we all want to have a million subscribers. Like all of these things yeah but serve the season you're in like appreciate the growth appreciate the struggle appreciate the come up it will help ground you and mold you and it will teach you the skills yeah, that when you're moving you forward well. exactly yeah. it teaches you humility and it teaches you that when you know when you move forward you already have things in place where you know okay if this happens I've been through the situation before. I dealt with it this way, so let me go through it. And it just creates a different type of efficiency inside Definitely. of you. Be present in the moment and enjoy it. Like, if well, the minute that you start losing enjoyment, then you have to go back to God and be like, God, is this really something that you want me to do? For sure, yeah. So like, definitely stay in the like the pure enjoyment that you had in the beginning. Live in that, live in that moment every single time. Stay in that because it's very easy to kind of get stressed out, get anxiety, and then lose your focus. Like, I would definitely say like, pray. When I get into the years of being twenty, like throughout the twenty years, I would really want to have like good friendships around me. I really want to have the good people around me. But um, yeah, really just pray, like really pray for something like as a Christian, obviously do pray that you know God will give you um, the right people around you because there's a lot of people out there that really stuck up especially like when you're sharing content with them you might DM them and hey check out my YouTube channel they might see it might not respond but <laughs> on Instagram um, where it says seen yes it says seen <laughs> you're like e like why didn't you comment on at least at least always I can give it a like Words. but um you just remember that not everybody's gonna respond to you um some people will and the ones that do stick with them I'm kind of looking down because I, I wrote it the way that I like it the less you read your Bible, the less inspiration you have. Mm. And I say this because, especially if you're trying to be a Christian content creator, um, a lot of the stuff that we're talking about, obviously we're talking about the Bible, we're talking about the words, we're yeah. talking about, you know, things that, revelations that we get, and it comes through our content. But I think the less that you spend time in the presence of God, mm. the less fuel that you have to stimulate you when you're making your videos. Yeah. And listen to the words of Jesus because mm. it will really fuel your content and it will come from a place of God. Mm. And especially as Christians, that's what we want. Everything yeah, that sure. we do, we want it to come from a place of God. So if you're not rooted in God, how can your content reflect him? I've done this before, that like, spirits before that like, when I'm making a video, um, I go on like the Bible app and I'm searching up like, oh what is what is this like scripture about hope mean? Mm -hmm. And like I might post it and it, just because the scripture says hope in the in the script in the scripture, I post it on the channel I'm like, oh this is cool, like this means hope or whatever, but I don't read it, I just put it on there and I think mm. like sometimes that like, we have to know the scriptures, like we have to know the like every single scripture we post or we say it comes up from my mouth. We need to not just say it, just to say it. We actually need to know the context of what we're reading. A lot of people get deceived um, just because like they post a scripture online, they feel it and they know what that scripture means. Um, but you have to really like, be re you have to really like know what you're talking about. And that's one thing that I want to make sure that as a Christian creative that I do, that I don't just talk about scriptures for the sake of it, but I actually know um, what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, I think what, what you know you're talking about as well, you're able to like present it in a way that's good. So yeah, my next point is what I've got right now is being a content creator is a blessing and a curse. And what I mean by that is like, obviously, you know, it's obviously amazing, obviously like, I think when we watch YouTube videos and we watch like content creators on like TikTok or YouTube or Instagram or whatever, Snapchat or whatever, um, we look at them like, oh, they must have an amazing life. They must like, literally like, you know, all you have to do is wake up in the morning and like put a camera up, make a video, talk to the camera, done, post it, and then they've got money, they do this or do that. But literally it's hard work. Mm -hmm. It's literally hard work. It's not just like, um, laxy daisy, like, oh yeah, Put a camera up, record a video, done, post it. You have to literally have time, you have to really plan. Like before it's really planned, you know, put in like an hour, two hours yep. into like thinking about the content you're gonna make. Um, you know, you have to set the camera up, you know, think about what you're gonna say. You have to then after, like after you've done all of that stuff, set the camera up, you've edited. Editing takes time. Let me tell you this, um, especially for somebody that's just starting out, editing takes time. So yeah, it's, it's obviously a curse, obviously a blessing, but literally we can literally just be a voice on um, social media. So I also wanna say also if, our, our presence on YouTube to be the same as our presence walking down the street. 
we shouldn't be one way on YouTube and one way on the street. We shouldn't be all like bubbly or like, hey guys, come on channel, like, oh, let me show you this. We need to pray for you. Let me show you this scripture. And then we turn the camera off and then we're cussing to our mum and dad. We are like literally like mm. rude to our parents. We are rude to our friends. Like, no, like we should be one, like same as on camera as the same That's as right. out of the camera. Um, don't be a lukewarm content creator. <laughs> what people like is authenticity. Yeah, what yeah. people like is people being natural. And transparency, yeah. Like, um, people don't want you to be like, oh yeah, look at me, I've got makeup on, or like, look at me, like, I'm all perfect. Yeah. But I think people love to see when you um, don't have no makeup on. People love to see when you are just yourself. Um, and that's when you can actually really connect with more people and really like speak to them on a level that's clear. If you are passionate about something, yeah. you can't fake passion. Mm. So like, you can't lie about being an on-fire Christian because sure. it will show. Like, people are not dumb. Yeah. Like, the camera doesn't lie. Yeah, the camera exactly. shows everything. So, like, people can see your intentions. They can see when things are not, they're not off. Especially when, like, if your viewers are Christian, mm. some of them will have a good sense of discernment. Yeah, so exactly. they'll be able to tell, like, this isn't adding up. Yeah. Like, you just said this on Twitter, like, yesterday, but now you're actually telling us to, like, go and yeah. spread the good news. Like, it's not making sense. Exactly, so yeah. definitely, like, be mindful of how you are. As long as you're staying faithful to what God has called you to be, you will stay faithful to who you present yourself online. Amen. And also, remember that God knows your heart. God knows our true motives. So even though like we can act a certain way on camera and one way like off the camera, but at the end of the day, like, God knows our hearts. God knows what we think. God knows every hair that's on his head. God knows every hair that's on her head. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot. So, <laughs> so is mine, but he's got a few more hair. But yeah, literally, God knows everything. So if you're acting a certain way, then obviously God's going to know about it. Um, but I literally I pray and declare that Lord that anybody that's honest if you're a content creator that you'll be literally convicted that you would Holy Spirit will tell you because um, it's not right for as Christians to be one way on the camera and one way out like we have a responsibility the Bible says that we yeah. are ambassadors of his kingdom if you want to become a content creator great there's so many good things about it mm. but I pray that you still remember who you are at the end of the day like yeah. you're not your <coughs> channel if that makes sense like your yeah, channel sure. is what you do but it's not who you are like mm. at the end of the day you need to come back and be like at the end of the day come back to your room come back to wherever you are go before God and be like God like thank you for this but like keep me humble keep yes, me exactly. sane remind me who you say that I am like all of these things mm. because it's so easy to get lost in the source yeah, thank you so much Kane, for coming on my channel and speaking awesome. live thank you to god for speaking for you Kane. Amen, yes. um, and i hope you guys feel convicted or just feel even inspired or just get any ideas from this video about yeah. how you can go about your channel if you want to make one or if you're if you have a channel now like mm. um ideas for what you can do if you guys like this video make yes. sure you drop a like you comment down below and you subscribe to the channel it's like right down there subscribe to Kane. yes yeah do. i actually want to my aim obviously from both aim is to hit one this year so yeah click my channel um follow my instagram as well like i like i love answering like dms i love answering messages so follow my instagram um can i plug it on the screen it's on the screen thanks guys for watching this video Thank stay you. blessed don't stress stay blessed. and i'll see you in the next that was one cringy. <laughs> all right <laughs> you have you have put these as your um yeah i just <laughs> as your it. cuts hey google play waymaker hello there how can I be of service? What's up, babes? <laughs> it's the collab that we've all been waiting for. The people have been asking. That's good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.